Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1 might have been released on the PC several years ago, but that hasn't stopped Idea Factory from releasing another round of DLC. The first in over two years, in fact. There's three different DLC. The Tagalong, Coliseum and Characters, and AV Club DLC, which all came out September 5th, 2018. As you may know, the not yet released in the West remake of Rebirth 1 Rebirth 1 Plus has some new content, and these DLC here are supposed to bring these new features and characters to the PC. I personally think they should have included all of that in an update, but I'm presuming money was the deciding factor there. At least they're not expensive. Speaking of update, that's something they didn't do when the new DLC was released. I bought the DLC, but there was no way to play it. What a smooth launch that was. I should also mention that these three DLC are Steam exclusive at the time of this video. No Vita, no GOG. I'm guessing we might see them on GOG later since it took a while for the games to be on there as well. And who knows with the Vita, they might just not even bring it to that one. Let's talk about the DLC in a bit more detail. The Tag Along DLC allows party members to follow the party leader around in the dungeon. Even though it technically adds nothing in terms of gameplay, it's something I actually really like. A bit like how you could have a Pokemon follow you in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It's just a fun thing to be able to run around with your party. Of course, I had to test out whether a fight is initiated if one of the followers runs into an enemy, but that's not the case. As you can see, the enemies even go through them. Actually, all the characters can go through each other, which is very realistic. For some reason, all the characters are standing way too close to each other at the start of the dungeon. It looks a bit wonky, but it also really doesn't matter, to be honest. The Colosseum and Characters DLC includes new Colosseum quests, which I don't really care about. The thing I do care about is three new characters, the Oracles of Last Station, Louis, and Leanbox, who are Kay, Mina, and Chica. I quite like these characters in other games, so it's nice to see them being made playable here. You have to go to Planum Tune and then click on Information. Just select each of the characters and they'll be added to your party. They're all level 1, which is a bit annoying if you're wanting to use them straight away in an existing save game, but I know why they did that. Imagine having higher level characters right from the start. That would just be a bit too easy. Besides, there's other DLC that already gives you stuff that makes you way overpowered at the start of the game. Their fighting style is similar to their goddesses, with Kay using a sword, Chica using a lance, and Mina using a staff, which is actually more along the lines of Rom and Ram's fighting style rather than Blonde's. And of course, these special attacks reflect that too. These characters are playable in the other Rebirth games, and I think everything's the same in terms of stats and things like that. Insert joke that all Rebirth games are the same here. And lastly, the AV Club DLC is just a way to view events you've already seen. Which is good, but again, why charge money for something that should have been there in the first place? Not much to say about that one. And that's basically it. I hope we'll get these DLC for the GOG edition of Rebirth 1 as well someday. And maybe for the Vita too, since a lot of people seem to like that version. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos ranging from console reviews, anime games, to just general video game related topics. I have to say I'm quite a fan of doing those analysis videos on why certain consoles ended up being popular or not, and also that recent one about Twitch being inconsistent with their silly banned game list. And thankfully they seem to be well received by a lot of you guys. Remember to follow me on Twitch and Twitter, there's a Discord server which is getting bigger each day, and Patreon if you want to help out the channel and view videos before they're released on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.